So today we're going to continue on our journey on scaling things with Marmot. Um, I'm taking up uh, Keystone JS today. Um, it's a headless CMS, um, and uh, it's 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 a pretty solid and famous project. If you go look at the GitHub, almost seven K stars. It's a decent uh, sized project. The best part about Keystone JS is you define your schema and it exposes a GraphQL API, which in my opinion is the killer feature of the CMS and then a beautiful management UI as well. So what I'm going to do here is show you today, how can we scale uh, instances of Keystone JS that are deployed on top of SQLite. And the way we're going to do that is by using Marmot in a traditional setup that I've done before with pocket base. So let me show you how I've got this whole thing up and running already in place, both Keystone JS instances, CMS one and CMS two. Um, and uh, if you look at the uh, control panes of uh, CMS one and CMS two, okay, let me log in first. And um is it the same here nope okay let me log in here as well essentially um i have pre-configured two instances uh that have their databases pointing to their local sqlite databases and let me walk you through the setup um let me actually list those databases first so that um i can show you um there you go uh, so temp Keystone one and uh, similarly temp Keystone two. It's in temp directory. I don't recommend putting it in temp directory for production, but for the purposes of this demo, I think it's pretty good. Um, what I'm going to sh show you now is uh, my proc file where I have just like last time, I'll link the description. I've configured three NAT servers with their corresponding configurations. And then I've got two Marmot instances um, point as node one and node two pointing to the exact two databases, Keystone one and Keystone two here, um, and pointing to the NATS instances in their NATS URL. So, uh, so that they can kind of talk to each other and start replicating things. Look at the video, I'll post the link in the description. So let's kick off our instances for marmot so they're coming up one of them is up and second one is up as well so both of them are running now so that means they're already syncing changes across oops something is wrong let me um okay i have to log in i don't know why did it lock me out but let's uh, for sake of clarity let's make sure that all the items in to-do lists are empty to begin with ideally you should have Okay, let me log in here as well. Ideally, you should have both of the databases at the exact same snapshot um, to begin with. So I'm gonna clear out this database as well. So in both places now, we have no items in to-dos. And um, what I'm gonna do is, um, it's asking me to log in again, whatever. And I can probably log in again. I must have done something wrong here in the configuration. That is fine. I think uh, the, the key I wanted to demonstrate was the GraphQL APIs. So if you go to slash API slash GraphQL on each of the corresponding instances for 5000, I have a GraphQL API on 5000 slash API slash GraphQL. And similarly for 5100, 5, I have a GraphQL slash GraphQL slash, sorry, slash API slash GraphQL. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to run a GraphQL query that is going to pull the data of to do's just to show that it's empty on both sides. And as you can see, they're both empty. And now I'm going to cause a mutation, a GraphQL mutation, where I'm going to insert an item. Uh, let's call this item. I don't know, maybe to do one. Yeah, let's call it to do one. I don't have to be creative. And you can see it kind of inserted the item. And if I query it on my node, the same first node, 5100, you can see it's replicated already. 
um, I can also query it on the other node. So the moment I inserted the entry, it was immediately re replicated. Let's insert more. Let's insert to do two uh, and three. And then I can insert a to do four, uh, four uh, with done equals true. Okay. And now I should have four items. Uh, each one on the same node, I can actually change the number of nodes that I want to take as well. That's the power of GraphQL. I won't do that demo here. Go read about GraphQL. I, I'll keep it as is. But the thing is, I can easily have it replicated across the other node as well, just as seamlessly and simply without doing any additional work. So what's the point? I think uh, the important point here, or the key takeaway here is, uh, you can use your GraphQL APIs exposed by the CMS and whatever system you built on top, writes on one node would ensure that they get propagated across the other node. What does that mean? That means I can essentially deploy more nodes and horizontally scale my site. In fact, I can scale it across different data centers. Uh, I can have one data center in west us i can have one east us i can have one in china i can have one in uae and it doesn't matter because of from wherever a change happens the changes would be replicated across and your cms would automatically be updated across the regions as well and this has another interesting side effect as well um you can totally think what happens well if I have three nodes who are replicating those changes across and one of them goes down. Well, with this approach, you won't have any problems at all because um, even if one node goes down, rest of two are still up and they're still working. Um, in a central database approach like Postgres or uh, MySQL, unless you are using some uh, replication there as well, uh, your problem would be to um, um, make sure that when the database goes down, your site doesn't go out. In case of SQLite, since everybody's keeping their local copy of the data, it's pretty simple to scale it out and let it be more fault tolerant um, without any complicated setup. Uh, because you can totally kind of imagine in case of Postgres and MySQL, you might have to do some complex configurations on server side, um, including in Keystone to do reads from replicas or get a hosted version that would charge you quite a lot of money, which might not make sense for a small site uh, who still wants to be resilient, but wants to scale out to a couple of hundred thousand or maybe almost a million users. Uh, one thing that fits great for CMS use cases is that writes are not very frequent, but reads are extremely frequent. And SQLite, in my opinion, is very, very uh, tailored towards read intensive workloads. So there you go. We have Keystone working on top of SQLite, being replicated and working across the nodes and scaled out.